So what we're really trying to do is to try to detect disease at a whole plant level before we visually can see them. Before I could have someone go out in the field, before people could actually scout to see them, we could use this technology to tell us that earlier. So one of the technologies that we use is called hyperspectral cameras or hyperspectral technology. If we think about a normal, you know, everyday camera that people have on their cell phones, those are RGB cameras. Basically those cameras are capturing information for just red, green, and blue wavelengths. So instead of just three values, use now, we're able to capture a lot of different light wavelengths, and it even can extend from what our eye can actually see. And so what we do is we capture these wavelengths, several hundred of them at a time, when we're taking our images, and then we get profiles of plants. And what we're doing is we're trying to match up profiles with a plant that is not being stressed and a plant that is being stressed. And can we tell basically just by taking an image, can we tell if that plant is being stressed or not? And so what can happen then is you can take that information and build a different sensor, a much cheaper sensor, that could then be readily used in a farmer's field. They could mount them under their tractors, they could use them in an aerial setting in a drone to assess their fields for that disease. And also the pilot of this is, you know, we're using it for these two diseases, but we really think that this could be a broad-based use for identifying all kinds of plant stresses, different pathogens and also different environmental stresses. As farmers would go through their fields and they could assay all these different things, and you could tell you have this disease, you have this disease, you have this deficiency in some mineral, you need more nutrients, you need to put a fertilizer on, things like that is really what we're trying to get at with these things. And this is just the pilot of that, but that's really where we see this 5, 10, 15 years down the road is where this, where this is really going.